Hello, welcome to labor number four of the 12 labors of Nick Killies. I'm joined by my handy dandy assistant today. And what I am doing is I have to steek four sweaters. So this first sweater, this sweater is for Eleanor. This sweater is for Lottie. And then I have two sweaters for me. This one, which is a super crop sweater that I have to steek. And then this last sweater, which has no sleeves currently, because I need the trim, I need yarn for these sweaters, and I don't know if I have enough yet, so I could always do crop sleeves. So I have to steek four sweaters. So let's see how it goes. finished the challenge. I have steeped four sweaters. I don't think I told you in the beginning uh, what these sweaters are. So these sweaters are steekling um, and they are my design and I knit them all out of Universal Yarns Offbeat Yarn. So it's this tag. It is let me see, hold on. 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. So let me tell you about each of them. So this first one, the smallest one, and the first one that I did was, is Eleanor's. And I have these buttons. These buttons are from my best friend's grandma, who we call more and more. They're Swedish. Uh, her name is Ingrid, but we call her, uh, Hannah. my best friend calls her more and more. So I call her more and more. Um, and they all match. They are super cute. And I actually think these buttons were repurposed from another garment because there was like a little bit of fabric attached to each button. Um, so this is Eleanor's. It came out super cute. And then the next one I did was my own, which is, this was out of Flower Power. And this one is out of Peace. So this is it's short sleeve, it like comes to about here, and then it's a cropped sweater. I also, it's got these really pretty fun bright blue buttons. Um, my sister says it looks like uh, Miss Fishbaugh, who was my first grade teacher. So it does, it totally looks like, it's a totally teacher cardigan. 
So I really like it. Um, I knit this out of one ball of off, off beat yarn, which is, let me tell you how many yards. It is 586 yards. I literally used all the yard. So uh, my bust is a 36. So I knit this to be, I think 40 inches around, um, but it's obviously open and I never button my cardigans. Um, that's just not my style. So you can make a sweater out of one skein, but it's a really big one skein, like 586 is really like two skeins. Um, so this is mine and I think it ended up really cute. Then the next one that I did, I think was Lottie's. So this is a sized up steakling. Um, I will, I will be publishing, um, I guess just adding on to the size range of steakling because it's only one size up. So this is for Lottie. Lottie is my three and a half year old. Um, it came out so cute. The buttons also are from Warmore. Um, she gave me this big, um, like notions tin when she moved into her assisted living home and I've been using it so much. That's where all my buttons come from. All my zippers. It's been wonderful. So then we have this and it kind of matches her sisters. Like I started them the same, like they have the same collar. So like they diverge, but they started the same. Um, I knit those. I really liked it, but man, I was really getting tired of steaking. Not, it was like the sewing as well as it was a lot of hand sewing because I had to tack down the like raw edges and then so weaving the end. It was, I was getting tired of it. It did really feel like a labor because four sweaters is a lot. And the last one I made, this is mine again, because I want to do like a mommy and me matching. And this is my grown up full sized steeping, which I also think looks like a total teacher sweater. Um, but I did not have enough of matching buttons. So what I did was, is I did all mismatched buttons. So each of these buttons is a different button, but I think it's kind of cute. Like this one's different. This one's a really big kind of almost like marbly one. So I didn't want to buy buttons. I felt, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't want to buy buttons. So I didn't. And I have this. So I am going to... I'm writing up the pattern for the adult steakling. I'm actually about halfway through it and I hope to have it ready for testing maybe by the middle of October. So I'll pop in our form to be notified of future test knits because that's where I'll post if you want to test steakling for adults. Um, really I did steakling because, so I'm calling it a grown-up steakling, but steakling was made because one, I cannot stand purling, but I love cardigans. But I just, it takes the joy out of it. I don't like knitting flat. I'm doing a lot of stuff knitting flat right now and I'm not like happy about it. Um, so I like knitting in the round. So then I could knit in the round and then just steak it open. And it also was a way for me to learn how to steak on something small. Cause that's, originally it was like a newborn size cardigan. So if you messed it up, you only invested like two days of knitting in it and it was like full thing. You know, you cut apart your sweater's quantity of yarn, that kind of thing. So I also steaked acrylic. This is 90% acrylic. I used my sewing machine to steak it. I know there are rules about wool and non-super wash and yeah, I'm a rebel. I just do it a lot. My stuff hasn't fallen apart. And even if it does, I'm okay with it because I'm a process knitter. And realistically, it's probably, my kids are going to outgrow the sweaters before they fall apart. And I'm decent, I'm careful enough with my own stuff because I know how I constructed it. Um, that I'm not worried. This is not advice. <laughs> this is not, this is not legal advice. Um, but you probably could steak your acrylic. Chaley steak something acrylic and it was fine. I imagine wool is easier. This was a little bit fidgety, but it was fine. So this labor is complete. Four sweaters. Um, you can purchase the steakling pattern for children up to age like five on in the link below. And if you want to find out um, and be notified when I am ready to test the grown up steakling, sign up also on the to be notified for future test knits. It is graded up to 64 inch bust is how I'm grading it. And it's, uh, I think it's down to a 30, 28 inch bust. 
Uh, the 28 inch bust is kind of converging with my child bust because Lottie, I made Lottie's bust a 26 inch bust. So it's kind of like my child and my adult is converging. And then obviously the length of both the sleeves and the torso are different. Um, so yes, that's where it is in terms of that. If you like the yarn that you saw, cause it's really cute and very affordable. Um, we also have an affiliate link for Universal Yarn, which also you can click on. Um, affiliate links at no extra cost to you gives us a little kickback um, for kind of like referring you. And like I made one, I made a whole smallish sweater with one skein and it's gained to like $13. Those are pretty good sweat. Like it's lots of entertainment knitting. And if you're looking at store-bought cost versus like yarn cost it actually is pretty comparable most cardigans these days I don't know 30 bucks at Target so even if you bought two balls this the large one like my large full-size one used like a ball and a half so you'd have to buy two but still it came out great um obviously if you are taller your sleeves will be longer than mine and uh, you may want to make it longer or shorter and that will change how much yarn you need but roughly two balls even if it's three balls, you're still within the decently affordable range. So thank you so much for watching. This was labor number four. Up next is labor number five. And it's such a hard one. It's my sister's. And Chaley has to, like, I think she has to catalog her stash. And it seems so stressful. She's having a great time doing it. Um, I don't want to spoil her thing, but it seems really stressful. It seems like a lot, but she's having a good time um like getting started and figuring that out um so that's labor five and labor six is a joint one between her and me and we are learning a different cast on method um like slingshot style cast ons we do a long tail cast on um but i imagine it, we will probably try out a german twisted cast on which we've done before um if you know of any other slingshot like you know the kind that like it's like this and you pull the needle and you hold the needle and you're hand and you kind of yeah one shot right um if you know of any that you want us to try out or that you think are hard um let me know comment below that's labor five and six and our next long-ish video series is vlogto vlogtober so subscribe so you can catch up with us on what we're doing in october thanks so much for watching